This is a disaster. I mean, look at all these cartoons. Mind you, I don't mind some of them. Redwood isn't half bad. But what am I saying? I must find a way to bring back order and show to the world that cartoons, or not all cartoons, are bad. But what movie should I review to show the world that cartoons didn't start out as bad? Well, some of them are alright. But which? Which cartoon should I review? What's this? Pole position. I hope I pronounced that right. Mm. Besides, I have seen the uh, high count and apparently, um, Hilltop Hospital, the thing I reviewed a while back, has got high reviews. So, we're bringing back the Cave of Forgotten TV shows! Was this a TV show? Oh well, whatever it is. Oh, reviewing Pole position. Anyone remember that? Yeah, except a few people who probably grew up with this show. No offense! You're not old. Let's change the subject. Salutations, good people! My name is Bragley Davis, aka the guy who's got this YouTube page called Rob the Show. Uh. Anyway, I've decided to tell you this that we live in a day and age where people say that cartoons have lost the subject. Well, not all of them. Well, most of them are. <coughs> Cartoon Network in America! <coughs> anyway, Today, I am going to try and show you, the public, that cartoons are a great form of entertainment. Not a pile of poop that should deserve to stay on the side of the road, smelling up the works and turning it into something that nobody wants. Except the uh, thing that cleans it up. What are those things called again? Anyway, today I am going to review a movie I found while helping my dad tidy up the, um, garage and stuff. And it's a series called. Uh, might be a video to review one day. Introducing Pole Position. Roll some pictures. A brief history of Pole Position. Pole Position was basically a video game for the Atari. Like Hollywood has no original ideas and they just use any book and mo movie or any demographic they can find to make a movie, Pole Position came to be. So, is this cartoon good enough for me to tell you to watch it? Let's find out as I tell you my opinions of this show. Because I have a dark little bit of a memory of how this cartoon worked. Plus I may have watched some reviewers, but don't judge me! There are not probably loads of reviews, but I'll tell you. But first, we must find out who the characters are! The character tropes were a little bit bland. You had two girl characters, a young girl and an adult girl, aka a teenager probably. And a boy character who always thought he was handsome, but really he was just handsome. And two cars that can talk. Yes, they could talk. Because of the robot brains that came in the car. Ah yes, in the days of old, we used to get cartoons that ended up being in anything. Including The Legend of Zelda. Let's start with one of the characters. This is the female character. I know I should remember the name, but, well, not very good at remembering names. Cartoons today always portray females and males on the same level. As in, they really know how to work together as a team, and they always stay on equal. As in, sometimes they don't even fall in love with the main hero. Sometimes they're just friends or partners in crime in the story. But during Paul Position's time, uh, let's just say they just shove the girl characters in, just so they don't get into trouble with the TV networks and stuff, or people. But I must get back to the review. 
For many people who have seen the episodes of The Pole Position, she, she was portrayed pretty well at the time, because in most cartoons, or in nearly every cartoon at the time that this show was around, cartoons always portrayed women as dainty little sunshines with no character development at all. But she always pushed on. Actually, in some reviewers' eyes, she was far much better than the bloke character, which we'll get in a minute. Then we have the most important, or not very really important, thing about kids' cartoons. They always threw in a kid character to help the demographic, but the cartoon could have worked without them. But no, it was the cartoon law. You have to put a kid in the cartoon to relate to the kids, even though they might only portray the adult, even though the kid cartoon character might be annoying. Also, it will be for the demographic comical side and stuff. We have this little bundle of joy, mostly designed for the comic relief. But in my honest opinion, I have heard from some reviewists that he was more interesting than the main character, and sometimes he tried to help. He was basically like Scooby-Doo when he couldn't be understandable. You know, the times when he... stuff like that, whatever, I don't know. But in my honest opinion, I think he looks cute. Don't judge me. Then we have this guy. He's pretty alright, but he's more of a one-line character, as in he always points out the average and tries to sound cool and much better than the other characters. But in reality, he's just the dude guy who ends up getting into trouble, which is mostly all the time in this show. In every episode, the group of characters, the main characters, always seem to get kidnapped by random criminals. And there was another trouble. The show never had a main villain. There was no enemy forces or anything. And the problem was there were no many, or no, not many people that actually stunned a threat to be a main villain. Well, the only picture I could find to show you what the uh, heroes have to face up to was this robot that stole a map or something, thinking logically maybe to um, the, the Mount Rushmore and there was some eyebrow piece that had a treasure or something in it. And I really am telling you probably the honest truth. I'm, I have a very bad memory about this uh, subject. Don't judge me. But uh, they succeeded, and I think one of the episodes involved one of the characters being kidnapped and used as um, an easy way to get the treasure or something, in my honest opinion. But in my honest opinion, the uh, show was pretty good. There, there were some hiccups, and I'm not going to try and gravel on them like some reviewists, but I am going to be a serious and professional. Okay? Well, folks, it's time for me to go, but I promise you that we'll find a really good remembering cartoon. Maybe Captain Pugwash and Mary, Mungo and Midge. Ever heard of those? Well, you might see them soon. See ya.